Tyler, what is tomorrow's headline? Tomorrow's headline is Unicorns of Love going to the main event and beyond. I am putting my money down on it right now. I think Unicorns of Love, with their swagger, with their bad boy attitude, are going to stomp over the competition. I don't think LGD, even with a bounce back, are good enough to beat Unicorns of Love right now. I think the confidence is there with Unicorns of Love. I think they smell blood in the water with LGD. I think they see LGD as a team that's very beatable in their current form. And I think Unicorns of Love go forward now, get out of groups, and then the discussion becomes not like, oh, man, they make groups, great, congratulations, like, good job. I think the discussion becomes, where do they go? And if they go to the right group, how far can this team go? And what damage can they do? Because I think no team, like, if you're a team like Gen G or a Fnatic or, you know, a G2 even, you know you've watched NA play or L- or the LPL play or the LCK play. A lot of these teams haven't watched the LCL. They haven't been watching – you know, no man's play and destroy everyone in the LCL all year where I think they come into a group in the main event and they're they're very scary. They're a dangerous team with a lot of confidence behind them. So I think tomorrow they punch their ticket to the, the top 16 and we discuss, could this be a team that's a sleeper dark horse to make a maybe make a run to the top eight for the first time from wildcard region since 2016 when the LCL's Alba Snoxluna did the same thing. So Unicorns of Love are a very strong team. So I look at tomorrow's schedule, and the first matchup is V3 versus LGD. That is a matchup, despite their struggles, that LGD should win. This is actually brought up in chat, so shout out to Nox War, uh, who brought that up. That is a matchup that LGD should win. And then at the last match, need to win, yes. And should, though. Like, really, this is a matchup that, on paper, LGD would Mm -hmm. probably win, what, 70, 80 times out of 100? Maybe if they played 100 times? 90. 90 times out of 100? Should be 90. So assume they win here. That's mm-hmm. that's a confidence builder. That's yeah. a momentum builder. That is the monkey off the back. Mm-hmm. That is one of those games where you're like, okay, so LGD just needed one, mm-hmm. and now you wonder what their confidence and what their play style is going to be like going into the next game, mm-hmm. which is the last game of the day, which is against Unicorns of Love. Mm-hmm. And Unicorn, Unicorns of Love will be very confident. They play R7 earlier. That's likely a, a victorious game for them as well on paper, like I said, my opinion. And then you get to that marquee matchup there, and that is a further confident LGD. Now, with all of that said, they, they have nothing to do with my headline. I'm just looking at the schedule. <laughs> my headline is, you down with PSG. Yeah, you know me. <laughs> I do think that tomorrow one. PSG are going to book their ticket to at <laughs> least beyond the group stage of play-ins. And I have full faith that the Cinderella story, the improbable story of PSG will continue to at least the next round. And it's great to see because that's what the play-in should be. A whole bunch of great, fun, interesting stories to keep us interested throughout all of these games. And we have gotten that in spades, Tyler. No, it's awesome, right? Like, day one, the story was PSG. We All we could talk about was PSG, Coach D, you know, Kongwe and Uni Boy and how this team is coming together and they look so good. Day two, they're all news. They're not even in their top segments. It's all about Unicorns of Love, Super Massive, Team Liquid. They lost their game and they became old news where it's like every single day we're getting something new. A new storylines are building. New narratives are growing every single day. And that's what's so great about Worlds is every day there's a new adventure to be had. It's not... One day, it's over. It's the same thing day after day. Every day has something new. A new star breaks out. We talk about new things, new players, new narratives. It's I love World so much, Arda. I love it so, so much.